<laughs> What's up guys, back here with Geek Gap TV. We are throwing the uh, spring I should have left in it when we left Indiana, make it take power on. Went to a meet last night, had some big guys roll up to us. Offer just came up to me instantly and asked 10 grand to race, so not not doing that. And won't, won't ever do that probably, not for that amount of money though. <laughs> but Zave cleaning his car up up there. I go to Aviva Stadium meet today, check out some really nice rides, predicted like over 2,000 cars there today. So got my man Abel and Sandy here, all the way from Mexico City. So they're in the Alfa Romeo. Uh, gonna go have some fun today. Right now I have a 20 pound spring in it and it makes 17. The boost controller won't turn it up as much as I want with that in it because of the back pressure in the system. We're gonna take it out and put my 24 pound spring in, which will make about 20 pounds before we make our big number. And I won't turn it up much past that because well, it's just four bolt head motor. So that's capped out where where I run it there. So making, you know, 1200. How many guys does it take to change a wastegate spring? Uh, Go on. <laughs> At this pressure, we're, about, we're about to send a Mexican to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> First one. Yeah. <laughs> First Mexican ever to step on the moon. Good there tennis. you go. Yeah. Well, shouldn't get the, the waste gate apart. Uh, cruise around, try to find a shop or a tire place or something. Use their vice, stick it in there, put pressure on it from both sides so we can take some pressure off that lock ring and pop it off, pop the spring back in, and hopefully no problems be done in like 10 minutes. Knock on a middle console, but you know how that gets. driveway but couldn't get it. What kind of car? This it's a, a Camaro. Oh. Yep, with a, with a big turbo on it. Usually the hard part's going back together with it because it's got so much pressure. Yep. Yeah. Keep spinning as much as you can. All right, you can. Located in? Located right here in the Woodlands, Houston, Texas area. So you can find a big old building, looks like they do some work. Wheels for sale, right here on the main strip. So we'll check them out, they were good to me, so. You know what? Did suck your clothes. Man, I didn't get enough sleep last night. <laughs> this pipe's coming the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> People in the comments be like, oh, just take the whole V-band clamp off. You try fitting this V-band clamp between this and that. How did you get so dark? <laughs> I was oh, born this way. He said it's natural born with yeah. it. Spray on. Spray on. <laughs> it's a fake thing. <laughs> I'm stuck right here. <laughs> His ring stuck in between my turfoil. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't run no hood. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I ain't got nothing to show for under the hood. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> you put the lines right? Remember last dino day? Yeah, last dino day. Ooh, sent the motor to the moon. This one's going to the old uh, solenoid. This one down here. Atmospheric. So, she's ready to run some boost, boys. Alright, it is time. Got the car starting up. Yeah, we're headed out to Aviva Stadium. We're gonna run the VIP, have some fun, see some cool freaking cars, and take your friends along with us. So we'll catch you guys there.
on the way to the meet. We're obviously messing with the turbo earlier, but I'd had that spring in before and done pulls on it. Just messing with gears, got in it a little bit. And third gear went shift fourth. The car just shut me down, threw it in neutral. You know, the car is still running, but you shut me down gear wise, taking off. I didn't know if I hit a boost limit or what. Put it second, let out a bunch, didn't move. Put it third, didn't move. Fourth moves, but every other gear. at a tough time, but we'll see. I don't know, I'm calling some people right now. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Hey. We gotta pick up the old Cummins. That's right. Go ahead and load her on up. Try to get her somewhere to get her fixed. We'll see ya. Find out, I guess. Oh my god, you're heavy, man. Well, blue train, loading it. Y'all see if we can find something else. No digging, have some fun and have fun with others. I still gotta go find Clayton, but I don't know. They told me I couldn't park down there in the VIP, so he's like, I'll park you here on the curb. He said, if someone asked you who put you here, just say, I don't know. The Viva Stadium, Houston. Big meet, got a bunch of cars here. What that thing is. Old moto van on some boggers over there, but it's a sick car to take you guys around through it. And we'll, we'll show you some the line sick to the stuff. Right.
Alright guys, Houston Underground Racing, Amelia Stadium meet was good. Obviously some stuff happened to my car on the way here. Push shaft stripped or cracked the gears and they're not spinning on the push shaft. Fourth only. So gonna talk to excessive racing engines tomorrow, see if I can get a unit to possibly throw in there. Just to have fun with the guys the rest of the week. Guys like this man right here. That's right, show your face. So uh, gonna try, if not, no biggie. Auto swap in the future, possibly, if, if I don't end up throwing something in it out here. We'll see. Had a good night, though. Got some cool footage. Thanks to your man, Brandon. So we'll, we'll, we will catch you guys tomorrow. We're going to keep on video and hopefully get a couple bits from this uh, whole little car vacation, you can call it. And we'll keep you guys posted with them. See ya. Try to catch us. At this point in the video, I was headed back to the house with the truck and trailer with my car, texting a bunch of numbers trying to get something rolling to get another trans for my car to continue to you know have fun with the guys and you know put on show for some of you. But as I was driving home, I got an interesting phone call and literally after the clip you just saw, one of our buddies got uh, picked up by the cops, I got a free night in the Houston State Hotel. But we got him the next morning, all was good, um, everything was understood, and he's back with us, so he's all good. You guys better be ready for the next video coming out. Uh, Trans was able to be found for it. Some stuff worked out with a great company and a great shop letting me use their stuff, so stay tuned for that. And always guys, remember to like, subscribe, share the video, comment, tell us what you want to see more of. We got some more Texas 2K videos coming out, and always. Remember to live fast or get gas. I can't take no loss. Huh?